track review. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a track review. Eminem, legendary rapper, just dropped a pretty controversial new album titled Kamikaze, on which he dissed a lot of different rappers. He has also followed that album up with a pretty lengthy series of interview bits featuring him and Sway. I will be having a video drop very soon where I'm reacting to some of the points he makes in that interview series. He also talks about MGK in that interview. When I was originally <laughs> responding to the interview series, I thought that Eminem's uh, response to MGK there was sufficient because I just kind of see MGK as dog do under his shoe and not really all that talented or important or relevant, not worth Eminem's time. I would have just said it's probably not worth it to drop a response track to MGK's diss song against Eminem. It would basically be a waste of time. But hey, Eminem is here to entertain, apparently, and he just came through with the diss track just now. So I'm going to uh, give it a shot. See what's up. See how see how hard he goes at MGK, one of the weakest rappers in the game. Let's see what's up. Eminem kill shot. Bam. <laughs> Holy shit! What? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow. That was that was brutal. That was not nice. That was not that was <laughs> That was not nice. Man. You know, this this kind of reminds me of the, the, the Chloroseptic remix in that M comes out with a record where he's just getting beat on, and then he just follows up with another song where it's like, holy shit, you know, wh where the fuck was this guy? But this track, man, the, the beat was pretty good, and not that there weren't good beats on Kamikaze, there were some, but the beat was great, uh, the flows were always changing, but nothing too overly technical and masturbatory and weird sounding and just wanky, like just smart, catchy, straightforward flows uh, with some interesting rhythmic breakups here and there to sort of make certain rhymes link or enunciate certain words certain ways to make the uh, double entendre or uh, basically the scheme of the, uh, <clears throat> the couple of bars that he's rapping connect in a very smart way. Uh, this is Eminem really performance wise at his best in a while where he's kind of striking a great balance of making a hip hop song that is uh, a cut above technically a lot of what you're gonna hear out there, but simultaneously it's accessible, it's listenable. Like th there's a good groove to a lot of what he's rapping on this thing. But man, just to get into the bars on this thing, he was just going at Fucking MGK. Like, listen, I, I thought the MGK diss was all right, but kind of boring, kind of bland. And that diss is just shameful in comparison to what Eminem, in comparison to what Eminem has just dropped here. Because the, the amount of, of r really deeply insulting lines here on this track are just innumerable in comparison to like the couple of spare shots that were okay that MGK threw on his track along with the uh, Eminem you're old you're bitter you're over the hill which which everybody else is saying anyway you know what what are you going to bring to the table that other, that other people aren't already saying so man um the the Rihanna line with him talking about putting hickeys on her neck I thought was really funny given what MGK uh, given what MGK said in his last track um, <laughs> the autograph for his daughter line. Um, I'm, I'm just sort of rolling through some of the lyrics now, just kind of remind myself so I don't miss anything that really stuck out to me. There was also that line about how he named himself after a gun, but he has a man pun. <laughs> um, and man, when 
he went by saying that at 45, I'm outselling you. I'm still outselling you, which is true because Eminem still at this low point in his career is doing numbers that for a lot of new artists now is, is going to be the height of their career or they wish could be the height of their career. Uh, so a lot of these artists like taking shots at Eminem for not being as good as he used to, he's, he's still getting a lot of attention and he still has a lot of fans who care about his music and, uh, and celebrate it quite a bit. I, I should know a, a lot of them uh, were attacking me uh, for a full week after dropping my kamikaze review, but whatever. Uh, but still though, I thought the bars that he was uh, throwing out there about making MGK into a mountain from a molehill was really smart because Eminem really is doing him a favor just by responding because for the next five years, this is probably going to be the most attention MGK gets. R really, it truly is because MGK is probably not going to have another big hit song uh, unless he drops a response disc to Eminem, which wouldn't necessarily be a hit. Uh, it'll be a song that probably gets some traction here and there, but it's, it's not, it's not going to be a, 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 a chart climber. Uh, loved the bar on here when he was talking about how bitter he is, that, uh, g is, uh, sleeping with his ex, Halsey. Um, the dictionary line was funny given what MGK said in his, uh, diss track. You know, it's, it's really funny. Eminem really addressed a lot of what came up in that song, like the few okay shots at him and then threw so much more at him on top of it. Um, thought it was funny with his, uh, math being wrong about the number of albums, according to him, it's, it's been since he made a good one. Uh, I love the line where he said, I'd rather be 80 year old me than 20 year old you, uh, talking about how back when he was his age, he already had a bunch of records that had blown Huge. So if MGK is really as good as Eminem or going to be good as Eminem, you, you're already way behind the curve because already at this point, Eminem was killing it. Yeah, I didn't really think there was a part of this diss track that was boring. It was thoroughly entertaining, really tore the dude apart and exposed him for being as boring and mediocre as he is because MGK, he might respond to this. He might put out a response. It, Honestly, he probably will, because what, what, what does MGK have going for him right now? He's, he's probably not very busy. He's, he's certainly not recording any hits as of right now. MGK in the studio right now recording a number one song. It's not happening. So now that it's out, he's most likely going to put out a response track because, again, nothing better to do. But it will not have anywhere, anywhere uh, near as many cold-blooded and boldly insulting lines as this track has going for it. And the attitude of this song for Eminem is so refreshing. You know, to me, this is so much better than what he was doing on a lot of Kamikaze, which I've said before, and I'll say it again, seemed like he was acting mostly out of bitterness. This track to me felt like a solid diss song where he's really kind of letting the bullshit that MGK threw at him just roll off his back. And that's how it should be because MGK's opinion of Eminem <laughs> does not matter at all. Even if he's saying something that is correct about Eminem, does not matter, does not factor, uh, because he's an irrelevant artist with not much in the way of talent or important, significant pieces of work. So I'm going to leave it at that. Loved the track. Thought it was really good. Going to leave a link to it down there in the description box where you guys can try it out for yourself. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Eminem, Killshot, Forever.